Hey Monica. So as you know, and I guess this is just to inform the two people who will ever watch this video who don't actually know me or what's been going on with me, um, but for the past seven weeks I've had a headache. And I say I've had one headache instead of headaches because it's been one continuous headache. Whenever I'm conscious I have a headache, it doesn't go away. This has been a main part of my life for the past almost two months and I've had no other ideas for other videos or really time to work on or think of things. So Monica, you once told me that I should just, even if I'm not happy with something, I should just upload it anyway. So I'm gonna make this video and I'm gonna upload it and that's what's gonna happen, even if it's really boring or bad or whatever. So here we go. I've got the migraine and my pain will range from up, down and sideways. So on Thursday, January 28th, I woke up with a headache. I'd had headaches before and it seemed like the same kind of pain, just all in my sinuses. Um, the only difference was that for those headaches, even though I was getting them every day, I never woke up with a headache. It just started afterwards. But those have been diagnosed as migraines and I've been taking preventative medication and it's worked fine. But January 28th, I woke up with a headache. So I'm like, okay, that's that's what's gonna happen. Ibuprofen, aspirin, Advil, whatever, no pain medication really has done anything for me ever. So I was just like, well, today I'm gonna have a headache. And the next day I woke up with a headache and that just kept happening. Eventually I made an appointment for with a doctor. And by this point I'd had one headache for an entire week in the course of my conversation with the doctor, he was like, you know, sometimes just resting in a dark, quiet room does the trick. After I had successfully fallen asleep seven different times. So that doctor prescribed me a tryptan, which is supposed to prevent headaches before they happen, which was not the case for me because I already had one for a week. So that didn't work. And he also gave me Vicodin, which was great in theory, except it also did nothing. So about a week later, I went to the doctor again, and I got some antibiotics for a sinus infection and some nasal spray. Nothing. A little while later, I went back and got stronger antibiotics and nothing. So at that point, I was referred to an ears, nose, and throat doctor. So I went there and learned that I had never had a sinus infection in the first place because my x-rays showed that there was no sinus infection within the past two months. Um, also learned it wasn't a tumor, so that was good, um, but no diagnosis and continued headache. So the NTI referred me to a neurologist, and so I made an appointment with a neurologist um, a few weeks later because that was the earliest they could get me in. So this past week, I saw the neurologist, and I finally got a diagnosis. I learned that 98% of sinus pain is actually migraines, which would have been great to know before... I was on antibiotics for two weeks for a sinus infection that I didn't have. And I also learned that if a migraine headache lasts more than 72 hours, it develops into what's called status migranosis, which is what I had. So what we wanted to do was break the cycle of this migraine and then take a stronger dose of the preventative medicine that I already have. So it was really great actually knowing what this was and learning that it's a thing that other people also have. <laughs> Because between the ENT and neuro appointment, I was getting pretty anxious that there wouldn't actually be a solution. And I was getting pretty worried that I wouldn't be able to finish the semester. I hope you can hear that on the video because it's just another thing on top of this that I don't live in a quiet place. Hey, Monica. It was only different because So there's no one treatment for this, but there are a number of things that are there to try. So they put me on some anti-seizure medication, which I'm pretty sure is making me super sleepy and an emotional mess, so that's good, but it's something to try. But I'm not on it for very long, and it hasn't completely worked yet. It seemed like it was working a little bit, but I, I still had a headache. So I'm still working on it, and 
probably gonna talk to the neurologist more later. <laughs> but it's something to try, and it's also good to know that there are more things to try, and I have more options. So, working through that. I am not as fine as I seem. Pardon me for yelling and telling you green gardens. So I guess the biggest thing I've learned from all of this so far is that it seems like the hardest part about chronic pain is that it's so invisible. Like, unlike having the flu or a broken arm, there aren't any visible symptoms of pain. <laughs> so that makes it hard for other people to deal with, I guess. It makes it harder for other people to remember just because there isn't any constant reminder to other people. Even if they try, it's just difficult. And even when they do know, it's just difficult because there's nothing they can do. So I think this has definitely made me more sensitive to other people with chronic illnesses. And I definitely want to become more aware of, I don't know, the <laughs> struggles of people around me and just to do what I can to help. I think everyone copes with pain differently. For me, at least, I just need distraction. That's why... <laughs> I don't know, with this headache, it's been so much easier for me to do something like watch TV than to do schoolwork, just because it's just a little bit of relief being distracted. But I think this is definitely something I want to be more sensitive about with other people. I guess it's just another thing I can learn about other people is how they deal with struggle and pain and how to help them with that. I've also learned that I wouldn't trade the friends that I have for anything because all the friends I have are extraordinarily kind and generous and supporting and fun. When I came to visit you in Boston, it was absolutely spectacular and I have great friends here in Rochester. Yeah, I just love all my friends. This has made me even more grateful for everything that all of you guys do. So yeah, that's what's been going on in my life for the past two months or so. Not nearly as fun as your last video, Monica, <laughs> but it's a video, so it's getting uploaded anyway. Yep. Well, see you next week. Bye.